Hello everybody, uh, my name is Arvind Nilakantan and I am a master's student at the University of Florida. I am doing my electrical and computer engineering. This is a project that I will be presenting for my course EEL6825 pattern recognition. As you can see from the screen, my project is going to be on hand gesture recognition. It is virtual mouse operation using vision based hand gesture recognition. So let's take a look at what's up next. In this project, I'm going to be giving a brief description about what is the history behind this project, like what is the basic theory behind the project, and then we will be going into how the project works, and we will also be seeing a demo. First off, human computer interface. What is human computer interface? This is one of the most important things in the present century. ACM defines human computer interface as a discipline concerned with the design, evaluation, and implementation of interactive computing system for human use and with the study of major phenomena surrounding them. In simple terms, any interaction between human and computer through any different sources, maybe texting or through webcam or through voice, is basically human computer interface. As I told you, visual based human computer interface is one of the types, audio based human computer interface, and gesture based human computer interface. Based on these, we have millions of apps right now present in the world. Pattern recognition. So, what is pattern recognition? This is simply a branch of machine learning that focuses on recognition of patterns and regularities in data. Sometimes it's actually considered to be machine learning itself. And the types of pattern recognitions are facial recognition, voice recognition, retinal recognition, fingerprint recognition, and gesture recognition. As we all know, facial recognition is simply used as biometrics or to study a person's face behavior, sadness, happiness, and lip movements, etc. Voice recognition is mostly used in biometric systems where you have voice authentication systems. And also recently you have apps that detect songs based on the sound being played. Then you have retinal recognition which is used in like very uh, federal work areas and when you enter the country you might have seen like retinal recognition. Fingerprint recognition, fingerprint is very unique to every person so it's very good when used as a biometrics. Gesture recognition has a lot of application and we will be talking a lot about it because that is my project. So what is gesture recognition? Gesture recognition is simply the mathematical interpretation of a human motion by a computing device. This can be conducted with techniques from computer vision and OpenCV. So it is basically understanding human body language and gesture recognition is considered to be a better HCI compared to primitive text user interface or even GUI. This makes conventional input devices like mouses and keyboards redundant and I'll tell you how. Some of the applications of gesture control are uh, sign language interpretation. These are for disabled and this is a very, very good application. Virtual mouse control, virtual keyboard control, virtual mouse control is my project. Virtual keyboard control, you can have virtual dial pad controls, etc. Robotics control, which you would have seen a lot, and augmented reality. Hand gesture recognition, coming to my topic. So, what is hand gesture recognition? It is simply tracking of human hand or fingers or their gesture and identifying the gesture that is made by the hand and mapping onto some kind of a resource. And the methods used to track are usually wired gloves where you have some kind of sensors on a glove. You will be wearing the glove and that will help you detect. Stereo cameras are usually used where you have more than one camera, mostly two cameras, and they help in three dimensional capture of video and that can be used for gesture recognition and vision based which is simply by using a webcam and which we will be using in this project. So let's move into the project. Let's talk about the description of the project and then further talk about how it's working. So this is a real time project which simply means that you do not need to train your data set. You do not need a set of images that's already been stored. So whatever is there on the go, you just take it and you recognize what kind of gesture it is, which is kind of nice. This is a vision based hand gesture recognition where I'll be simply using my webcam on the laptop. And for this, I need to first do a skin color segmentation followed by analyzing the contour of my hand, then 
followed by which I'll be doing a convex hull to recognize the number of fingers, etc. And also to eliminate if there is if it is not a hand, if something else has been detected. And hand gesture recognition is the final step where you I will be rec recognizing what kind of, of finger it is, uh, how many fingers are there, what kind of gesture it is, and mapping that gesture to the mouse control. Yep. Uh, now coming to the flow chart. Firstly, we will be obtaining the frame from the video because this is real time, as I told you. So we, it, the webcam is going to be on, and we got to get the frame from the video. So first step is going to be sampling the hand color because as I told you we need to first differentiate our color from the background color that is the first and foremost step and you should be able to do it in such a way that any background you go to it can manage to segment your hand from the background and this is done through binary representation of hand which we'll be which I'll be explaining it shortly and are followed by which you'll be obtaining the biggest n contours followed by which you'll be dismissing the contours if it is not a hand because I don't if my face is also in the picture and if my hand is also there I don't want it to recognize my face and the hand then describe contours with convex polygon and fine convexity defects and filter out the irrelevant polygon information followed by which I whatever hand gesture is being recognized will be mapped onto mouse operation so sample color of hand uh, yes and that's my room it might look a little different but it still gives good results no matter where I am which is kind of nice so I first will be required to initially uh, cover my palm in the rectangle boxes so that I can sample the color of my hand. The color profile of the hand in this case my palm has been analyzed by obtaining the median color value sampled from different areas on the hand represented in terms of those seven boxes. Here you have seven boxes and this next step is binary representation and contour extraction. So the color profile which has been obtained from the previous step using some threshold I'm going to get several binary representation on each sample medium and I'm going to sum each of the sample mediums and pass it through a medium blur filter through which I'm going to finally get a proper a region of interest of my hand. Contour analysis so just getting the hand is not going to help us because we need to kind of figure out what kind of gesture we are showing and gesture can be anything it can be just one finger can be in any angle so we kind of first need a contour analysis so first step is to get the convex point in contour as it's marked one two and three you can see that the corresponding points are mentioned here second step would be get points further away from the from each convex vertex that is convexity defects you need to eliminate your convexity defects you don't want points that are not necessarily being present and giving you wrong results and then thirdly filter out convexity defects that are not relevant for further use so this is a picture I got from Google uh, images yes and convexity defects obviously when you come when you think about convexity defects you need some kind of a condition to eliminate the defect okay so in this case as you can see the angle must be greater than 80 degrees and the length of the finger is supposed to be less than 0.4 times the bounding box length. Then if these conditions are not satisfied, I obviously go ahead and dismiss the contour. Convexity, sorry. Followed by this is the result of my gesture recognition. Uh, so basically, whatever gesture I show towards my camera that is being printed on the top and the application analysis uh, analyzes a uh, number of fingers, finger to position and the area of the hand. And the gesture is typically shown between uh, is a number shown between 0 to 5 and this is printed on the top as I told you before and that number is going to be used for mapping of gesture onto the mouse operation as you can see in this table like 0 has been mapped onto scroll down 1 to move so if I'm if I'm pointing 1 if I'm moving around my finger that's basically for the mouse to basic follow my finger that's finger tracking 2 is for left click 3 is going to right click 4 is left alone, I'll explain why, and 5 is to scroll up, so open your palm, it's scrolling up, close your palm, scrolling down, and so on. Yes, so, and depending on the gesture detected, I can map this onto a mouse control and make my mouse work. This project does not show the mouse functionality fully, but it can it can be easily mapped using the windows.h header file. And 4 is left vacant because simply because we have gaming mouses that has way more functionality than a simple mouse, so it's for developers who want to go ahead and put some more functionality in the mouse so 4 is being left alone then you have a performance evaluation which is one of the most important 
part of a project. So you need to assess the credibility of your application in terms of how good it works, how well it recognizes. Here, I need to, I studied, actually I studied the success rate of my recognition for each of my gesture from zero to five. And that's been, that's been tabulated and I have also graphed it on the other side. And, oh, and as you can see from this graph that zero and five do not perform so well, which certainly needs more work but one two three and four have been detected pretty well have good success rate especially with three topping the chart what is the conclusion when it comes to conclusion we need to talk both advantages and disadvantages advantages as i told you it's a real-time system so i do not need any training i do not need any data set so that is good and no extra hardware like wired clouds required except for a simple webcam that's already there on my laptop this is simple efficient and fast Obviously, when there is advantages, there's going to be disadvantages. And here, it requires manual calibration, like I told you. I need to place my palm in those seven boxes for it to calibrate and find out the color of my hand and then recognize. That is going to take a little bit of time, so you can call that a disadvantage. Overlapping objects can be a big problem because if somebody is going to walk through me, that I mean, my contour is going to change, that's going to be a problem. And webcams always have lighting sensitivity, which is always a problem. And any projects has further work, future scope, and here I definitely think that a fine tuning of threshold during skin extraction can have a better result in detection. And adaptive tuning can always help during poor lighting conditions. And finger tracking, which is basically for mouse control, requires identifying individual fingers. So it need not be, it, I need not point my pointing finger, I can point my little finger or any other finger, but I need to track it properly. For that, there's a little further work required. This is the presentation for my project and we shall go ahead and check out the demo. So I have used uh, Visual Studios 2015 with OpenCV 310 library and uh, this program has been written based on those. And we will be looking at the demo now. I need to first place my palm in those seven box boxes. Yes, the contrast has been analyzed and I'm going to be, yes, based on that it's going to detect what kind of finger I'm showing. And the number is being printed on the top based on what is being shown. Any contour you show is going to be printed on the top. Yep, I can close and bring it back and it's still going to detect me as far as I keep my face outside the box it's going to detect better so that's about it so that's about it and movements obviously can be tracked as my hands are moved these are also going to go that's about the presentation that is about the demo yes uh, so as I told you any project has a future scope, so this you, you would have seen a little bit of mishaps here and there. We can these these can be worked on by more advanced methods, definitely. Yes, and that is about it. Hope you like the project, and hope you come up with something better than this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.